Second Genome has made a bunch of contributions to the field that have been really relevant. I think among the most important are being one of the first companies to be out there really developing the science and making headway to demonstrate that there is something in the microbiome that's worth targeting. They've also engaged in a variety of different partnerships which have been really important for uh, bringing all the resources needed to drive uh, therapeutic intervention forward. Some of the big contributions that Second Genome has made is to really place a value on the kind of data that they collect as well as to reach out into lots of different places is where the microbiome is playing a role that other companies are not doing. In the microbiome space, most people have been focused on human health and thinking about human diseases. I think one of the things that Second Genome has done a great job of is expanding that into agriculture. As we start to think about the role that the microbiome plays in our crop health as well as our human health and integrate that information together, it's going to be really important for how we think about uh, what does healthy eating mean, what does healthy growing mean uh, for us and our children and generations to come. As we go forward into the future, I think we can expect to see a bunch of different products come out that target the microbiome in human disease, in human health, for animals, for agriculture, for our environment around us. And I think that it's going to be amazing to see what comes out over the next 10 years. It's just over the next decade, it's going to be amazing to see what companies like Second Genome come out with. And I'm very excited to have Second Genome as colleagues with Whole Biome uh, in this endeavor. We have a lot of respect for what they're doing.